With only hours remaining to the presidential petition ruling by the Supreme Court on Monday, President-elect William Ruto has committed to respect the judgment that the seven judges of the Apex Court will make. Kwa sababu sisi ni inchi ya kufata sheria, pia tutaheshimu uamuzi wa mahakama ya upeo. Hivyo ndivyo tutakavyo kuwa na inchi ambayo itakuwa ni inchi ya wakenya wote. Na hakuna mkenya mkubwa na mdogo. Wakenya wote ni kiwango kimoja chini ya sheria na katiba yetu ya Kenya. The decision tomorrow will be bringing an end to those people who have been misusing their positions of authority to direct important instruments of this nation towards the road of impunity. Tomorrow, impunity must end. Speaking in Nakuru County, during an interdenominational prayer service at Lamu Diak High School grounds in Joro, Ruto said everyone is equal in the eyes of the law, adding that Kenya is a law-abiding country. Na kufuata hiyo sheria ni vile tulipiga kura na tukaheshimu IBC kama commission ambaye imetengenezwa na sheria ya Kenya kusimamia uchaguzi. Tukaheshimu IBC ikatoa uamuzi wake kwa sababu sisi ni inchi ya sheria. Visiting Rift Valley for the first time since the August elections, the Kenya Kwanza principal urged his rivals in the Azimio camp to also respect any determination of the Supreme Court come Monday. Wa Kenya wote ni kiwango kimoja chini ya sheria na katiba yetu ya Kenya. And it is very important even as we begin the journey as a nation that we agree that Kenya is going to be a country based on the rule of law. Ruto said if the court rules in his favor, his government will embark on a mission to reduce the cost of living and the high prices of food commodities by providing subsidized fertilizers and other farm inputs. We must find a way, we must find the resources to subsidize farm inputs kama fertilizer. Fertilizer has been a big impediment for our farmers here. Wa, the cost is so high at almost 6,000 that wengi wanapanda chakula bila fertilizer, so the, the harvest is very small. Police nimeona hapa, wamenisimamisha ati ulituahidi, dani ya siku miyamoja, mutatuongeza mshahara, sasa ati imebaki, sabini na moja, hapana. <laughs> Nyinyi polisi yeda pole pole. Amuwezi kwanza kuhesabu kutoka tarikitisa. <laughs> Ruto also promising goodies to Nakuru County, among them being to complete the Itare Dam construction and also position Naivasha as an industrial city in the country. Najua, you have a lot of expectations from us. Natumeongea na excellency our governor. Natunajua kuna kitu ingine munataka kutoka kwetu. Miaka hii tano ni kumfanyia kazi. Sinikweli. Na watu wa joro diyo mumefunza sisi viyogozi ya kwamba mtu wanaeza uza sera, mununue sera, bila kuagaria kabira, bila kuagaria jina yake. Na mimi naona ya kwamba a new Kenya has dawned devoid of ethnicity, devoid of hatred. The UDA party leader saying he will stay true to his political promises by fronting Moses Wetangula to be the next speaker of the National Assembly and Amazon Kinge to be the next speaker in the Senate. Wa Kenya walifanya uamuzi na ukiangalia kwa nia na vitendo wa Kenya wanataka uchumi wa Kenya ufunguke sasa hakuna muda mwingine wa maandamano wale tulikuwa azimio na wale bado wako azimio tukubali tumeshindwa Na waswaili walisema asie kubali kushindwa. The president elect was accompanied by among other leaders ANC leader Msalim Davidi, Nakuru governor Susan Keheka, former governor Kwale County Salim Vuria, former Kilifi governor Amazon Kingi, and former Makweni governor Kivuda Kibwana. Give us in mind, K24 Nairobi.